More than 263 million children and adolescents worldwide are out of school, having either been forced to drop out after enrolment or unable to ever enter the education system. The world's most vulnerable and marginalised children and youth are the ones who face the biggest challenges in getting an education. With each missed school year, the risk that they will be unable to return to formal education increases. And what's more, they also face increased risks to their protection. Yet, for many of these 263 million children and youth, the formal schooling system may no longer be a viable option. Accelerated education is a potential alternative for these children, one that can provide access to education for those children who have missed out on substantial amounts of schooling. Accelerated education programmes are flexible, age-appropriate programmes run in an accelerated time frame which aim to provide access to education for disadvantaged, overage, out-of-school children and youth particularly those who have missed out on or have had their education interrupted as a result of poverty, marginalisation, conflict and crisis. The goal is to provide learners with equivalent, certified competencies for basic education using effective teaching and learning approaches that match their level of cognitive maturity. The Accelerated Education Working Group is made up of education partners working together to strengthen the quality of programming. The objectives are as follows. To leverage expertise and experience in accelerated education within partner agencies. To establish broad-based ownership and credibility for tools, focusing on the production of guidance materials. And to open a dialogue space for a more harmonised, standardised approach to accelerated education. Accelerated education programmes are employed across the world to address the overwhelming numbers of out-of-school children and youth. Yet, there is insufficient validated documentation that provides guidance and standards for efficient programme planning, implementation and monitoring. The working group has begun to address these barriers. We first began by clarifying the differences between several key terms. The 10 Principles for Effective Practice for Accelerated Education aim to clarify the essential components of an effective accelerated education programme. These 10 principles are the foundation of all our materials and guidance. Our guide expands on the principles, specifying key definitions, essential information and recommended actions based on good practice. We wanted to know how useful and applicable this guidance was, so we field tested the tools within various contexts, with different target populations and at various stages of the programme cycle. The full results and recommendations are available in a synthesis report and executive summary and in four accelerated education case studies from Sierra Leone, Afghanistan and two programmes in the Dadaab refugee camp in northeast Kenya. Based on the results and recommendations from the field testing, the working group then revised all of the guidance materials. We have also developed a checklist, a practical field tool based on the principles that helps to determine actions needed to improve accelerated education programmes. Recognising there is also little significant documentation on the impact of such programming, the Working Group has recently developed a learning agenda for accelerated education. The learning agenda aims to organise and generate evidence to inform strategic planning, project design, project implementation, monitoring and evaluation and in service training efforts these initiatives will serve as a robust platform for future developments in the field of accelerated education.